Well, hello everyone. We're going to have us a little Thor Kitty vlog, I guess, because Thor Kitty decided that this is where he was going to be. I was starting to do it, and well, he just decided to take over the show. You can see how much he looks like his mommy with a pointy face. You know, you're, someone might actually think that's Summer, but that's the little Thor. The, him have a tail. Him have a hammer. Don't you? You got a hammer, too. And you better not use that hammer. We're just saying. Well, I've been cleaning up around the farm. I've been starting to make my garden. I got poison sumac. Uh, at this time, everything's sprouting and you can't see the leaves. So I got a little patch of it. So I'm just hanging out. I've kind of worked out of my supply of water. There's some for the animals to drink and enough for me to take care of my own hygiene and and keep my dishes done. Because if you don't have water for dishes, you you don't you don't get to have dinner. So that's one thing that I've learned. How you hit baby Thor? And little Thor has been very, 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 very attached to me. Because as those that saw the last live that I privated. I took in a wild cat that had kittens. A couple of them lived, but that silly cat is trying to grab Thor and drag it into the cat house. And Thor is not into that. Are we, honey? You know, Carlos Martinez might like the adult baby thing, but Thor is still a baby, and he says he's done with it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can set up. I'm free! Uh, oh, God, my neck. My neck, my neck. Pain vlog, pain vlog. Oh. Rachella had been in that spot right before him. Mm. And, and I've been in that way kind of a long time. And she got up and I started to grab the phone to do the vlog. And little Thor hopped in the same spot. The jealousy thing. Well, for six months, I have tried to get a ride to pay my taxes. Never could. Next month, they would take the farm. So, tomorrow night at midnight, probably about 24 hours after I upload this, my ass is walking to Somerset and back. I planned my route last night, looked at things all the way, Thought from my past adventures, what's feasible and what's not. I've got the backpack right here next to me already. And about midnight tomorrow, I take my ass out and start walking. Now, there are some things I'd like to get in Somerset, but I'm walking such a huge distance, I have to think a little bit of sane. So I'll probably walk... 37 to 40 miles. Probably more towards 37. But you know, uh, I don't quite have the exact distances on it. Now, I'll get to stop by a subway and an Arby's. Now, if I go a little more out of my way, there's a couple more restaurants. But considering it's the end of the month and I'm limited on funds and I could probably use a little more healthier food anyway, considering I get a lack of vegetables. I'll go with Subway, and I'll get me some Arby's, and I'll put that in the pack. And when I walk now, I average three miles an hour. Now, with a heavy load, you don't average three miles an hour. So, you know, that's why I figure I'll leave at midnight, and that will give me nine hours to get to Somerset. Well, that'll be when the office opens because, you know, I'm actually playing for walking back because now that the days are longer, it's getting dark about eight. And then, you know, I'll have probably about two hours in Somerset and then that'll leave me eight hours to walk back. So I should be able to do it in those time and have a little bit of breaks and I'll take a flashlight with me and case I decide to run over, 
Because if I decide to rest more, I always can. Now, there's some interesting terrain, and there's this one spot. Oh, my God. I mean, it's Buck Creek, but it's a ravine. And, I mean, there's like big giant hill that you go down for about two miles to then go up a big giant steep one for about that distance. Now, it's easier coming back, but that going to, that hill really sucks. So, you know, uh, that's one reason why you've not had any content or a live this weekend, because I've been preparing for it. I've got myself some clean clothes, I've got the backpack all packed, and now fortunately I won't be uh, pulling back a heavy load. <clears throat> so it won't be as hard. Now, when I get probably halfway back, I will go past the dollar store. And, and then I will refill that backpack with everything I can and carry a bit of a load. But I'm not going to carry w drinks. You know, liquid is what really is the weight killer. You know, the food itself isn't that heavy. But, you know, when you've got four gallons of something in a backpack, try that sometime. And then see if you can walk five miles like that. I'm sure some of you can. But when you do that over some time, it definitely works on the knees. Now, I found out when I made my last big walk, I had a broke toe and I didn't know it. And... The swellings come out of it and in this last month. And I sure do know I've had a broke toe. Now, it's mostly healed. And fortunately for me, you know, things have been calm enough here. I've, I've actually only had to walk. Well, uh, thinking about it from the date, twice in two months. My last time, you know, I uh, was fortunate enough that the fellow that I watch his neighbor farm, I was just started walking down the road to go to the store and he pulled up and offered me a ride to the store and I said, thank you. And another wonderful thing, uh, he's going to put out an extra garden area. So not only am I going to have my little garden to choose from, I'm going to be able to go there to his much bigger garden and get what I need when I need it. So that will be a big help for me. So, you know, as I mentioned before, I've not been getting enough fruits and vegetables. I'm fixing that. I am going to have an overabundance. And I'm even going to can some. You know, that's a, another thing this year I'm going to start doing is canning. <sighs> my aunt used to do it all the time on my father's side. She was actually the eldest child. The brothers were all younger. So, you know, I'm going to go back to some family traditions and do some canning. And I may even can some things that I don't like to trade. You know, people like canned beans. I won't eat the beans. But, you know, uh, I can always trade them for something. Because they're really simple to grow. You know, a pole bean. Because, you know, uh, I've not gone back over to farm family life, but... You know, when I grew up and had to come to Kentucky, we used an outhouse. You know, and during the time that my father was a child, you actually produced almost all of your own stuff on the farm. You might have bought some butter, but if you really wanted to, you could make that too. Now, a little interesting factoid is Ages ago, in the 1970s, everyone around here used to make molasses together. And they would do that at my grandfather's house. And we would actually render the sugar cane down. You know, if it actually came down to it, you know, I can make molasses. God, it is nasty. Don't get it in your head to make molasses. <clears throat> but, you know, it, it's something that can be done. And I can still in my nose smell 
that burning should no well it's not really burning but the the mix it smells like it's burning and it's sugar cane and it's absolutely so thickly sweet it will gag you and and because of that i've never been a fan of molasses now you know those molasses cookies that are pos popular right now i mean i i can't stand them because whenever i taste one that smell from when i was a kid is in my nose and i find it completely disgusting so you know i've got a big journey in the next couple of days and i'm going to sleep a good part of tomorrow and i'm sure when i get back i'm going to sleep a good part of that next day but i plan on being back around eight o'clock on monday and then i wouldn't doubt if i sleep till about eight o'clock on tuesday evening now that that's what i my body will want to do now unfortunately after about 12 hours of being down i have little tiny faces looking at me and saying get up and i'll have to get up because you know no one can resist the wet nose can it little kitty yes can it little kitty now here we got come on honey, i'm not bothering you i just want gotta bring it we've got the beautiful lovely richella how are you beautiful lovely richella she was trying to sleep and she's sliding down in my lap hers gotten totally huge and she's so dark you absolutely can't see it and there she's sliding down in my lap there she goes here she goes and she's gone. So that's pretty much my night. And when I get up tomorrow, I go outside and get myself all cleaned up real well and get ready for the big journey. Now, it won't be too bad. I'll definitely have my exercise in for the week. But that's why I've been laying off on YouTube and, and I'll be laying around the next few days and after that, I'll get back to the grindstone, and we'll have a bunch of lives, and I'll be silly. Now, everyone, please put your comments below. Well, here we, here we have one of the wild kittens that had something to say. You got anything else to say, kitties? Mommy's in with him, and evidently someone must have fell off the, you know, happy spot. Now, everyone, please put your comments below. And have a good night.